You dead. The letter kill it. Now, if the first handful of dope offered as the first fruit, Abraham and the what? Patriarch. Is what? Consecrated. Consecrated. So is the whole mass, the nation of what? Israel. If the, if, if the root Abraham is what? Consecrated. Consecrated. So are the what? Branches. But if some of the branches were what? Broken off. While you, a wild olive shoot, talking about the Gentile, will graft the end. Among them to share the riches of the root and sap of the what? Olive tree. Do not boast over the what? Branches. And pride yourself in their what? Expense. And their what? If you do boast and feel superior, remember it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. <clears throat> right? Amen. Amen. And the root is Abraham, right? Amen. You best believe it. Jesus is the root and offspring of David, right? Amen. You best believe he is. You will say then, branches was broken, pruned off, so that I may grafted, be grafted in. That is true. But they were broken, pruned off because of their what? Unbelief. Their lack of what? Real faith. faith. And you were established, and you are established through what? Faith. faith. Because you do what? Believe. So do not become proud and conceited, but rather stand and awe and be what? Reverently afraid. But God did not spare the natural what? Branches. Because of what? Unbelief. Neither will he spare you if you are guilty of the same what? Offense. Offense. Then know and appreciate the gracious kindness and the severity of who? God. Severity toward those who have fallen, but God's grace gracious kindness to you, provided you continue in his what? Grace. Abide in his what? Kindness. Otherwise, you too will be what? Cut off. away. And even those others, the fallen branches, the Jews, if they do not persist in clinging to their what? Unbelief. It will be what? Grafted God in. God has the power to do what? Graft them in again. again. But if you have been cut off, what if? For if you have been cut from what else by nature, a wild olive tree, against nature, grafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much easier will it be to graft these natural branches back to the original parent stock of their own what? Olive, olive tree. tree. Lest you be what? Self-opinionated. Self Wise your what? All All conceits. Conceits. I do not want you to miss this what? Hidden, Hidden truth, truth and, and mystery, brethren. brethren. A hardening insensibility has been temporarily befallen a part, mm. only a part of Israel. To last until the full number of the end gathering of the Gentiles has what? Come in. Thank you very much. When all of the Gentiles get into the body of Christ, only a portion of those Israelites whom God has elected from the foundation of the world, they're going to come in after all the Gentiles get in. Then only a portion. Not them that, not, not, hey man. Last part of that portion. Only those that receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Only those that are born, born again. again. Small minority. He said Jesus was not born of the Holy Ghost. Mm. He said there is no such thing as the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is mentioned 90 times in 89 verses. Well, he said he don't believe in ghosts. Go to, uh, Matthew chapter 14, verse 26. We don't believe in ghosts either. Amen. We don't believe in no ghosts. Amen. Amen. This is not a ghost. 14. That's not a ghost. <laughs> that is a living soul. Amen. That's Amen. not a ghost. We don't believe in that. That's not a ghost. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what ghosts mean. We don't believe in no phantasm. <laughs> That's what he said. think we believe in. That's what he think the Holy Ghost is. Why I tell you to go? Matthew 14, 14, verse 26. 26. I'm going to read uh, Charles, Charles. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea. Who they see? Jesus. Go ahead. They were terrified and said, it is a ghost. Stop. G-H-O-S-T. He said, it is a what? Ghost. This word ghost is P-H-A-N-T-A-S-M-S. -S. Phantasm. This phantasm means a mere, it means a mere show. It means at far rear shun. It means a perception of something that has no physical reality. What Peter saw was a figment. What Peter said Jesus was was a figment of Imagination. the mind. That's what a ghost is. Hmm. We don't believe in that. Amen. And what did Peter say in that verse? <laughs> And when the ghost. disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, it is a ghost. And they screamed out with fright. Go ahead. What did Jesus say? But instantly he spoke to them saying, take courage. I am. Stop, stop, 
Stop being afraid. Thank you very much. He said he not no ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Haggai's. That's what you don't understand, sir. I've been putting Holy Ghost up here all this time. He still don't know what it means. <laughs> Holy Ghost is Haggai's. P-N-E-U-M-A. Numa. Numa is a whole different word from fantastic. We don't believe in no ghost. <laughs> and if you define a word, it'll tell you it's a spirit. <laughs> That's God, you dumb male. Lord. Let's go to, uh, you don't believe in no ghost. No, Jesus ain't no ghost. No, God ain't no apparition. He's real. Amen. But the mysteries ain't been revealed to him. Amen. So he don't understand. Let's go to, uh, Mark 6, 49. So I can get some of these things in this dumb male's head. Amen. Amen. The handman. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are y'all going over there? He said Jesus of Nazareth, or uh, uh, the Bible contradicts itself because it says Jesus of Nazareth was born of Bethlehem. Then one scripture says he was born of Judah. You knucklehead, you! He come from the lineage of David. Oh my God! <laughs> he needs to study. Wow! No way! His mama married him. They lived in Nazareth. That's where he was from. <laughs> so the scripture can be fulfilled. He was called a Nazarene based on the sixth chapter of the Book of Numbers. Right, a Nazarene about. <laughs> Said he not our savior. Amen. What else did he say? I wrote down everything he said. Oh, nice then I had a guy call him. He contradicted the birth of Jesus. He said that ain't no Godhead. Yeah. He said ain't no Godhead. What he what he don't have is he don't understand nothing about the divine. I'm trying to get them in. Let's go to uh Mark six forty nine. Let's go to yeah Mark six forty nine. Read Carolyn. But when they saw him walking on the sea. They thought it was a ghost and raised a deep throttly shriek of terror. For they all saw him and were agitated, troubled and filled with fear and dread. But immediately he talked with them and said, take heart. I am. Stop being alarmed and afraid. Thank you. He said Jesus wasn't born of a virgin, not God's son. Mm. Mm. Psalms 2 7. Now got to quickly, let's move. Psalms 2 7. Jesus is born of God. He's the son of God. Amen. Amen. Read, Carolyn. Psalms 2 7. I will declare the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day I declare, I have begotten you. John 1 18. John chapter 1. Amen. Amen. Read verse number 1. No man has ever... John chapter 1, verse number 1. Amen. St. John chapter 1, oh. verse number 1. Amen. In the beginning, before all time, was the Word, Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God himself. He was present originally with God. All things were made and came into existence through him. And without him was not even one thing made that has come into being. Give me from verse 14. And the word Christ became flesh. Thank you very much. Human incarnate. Go ahead. Come on, son. And tabernacle fixed his tent of, of flesh, lived a while among us, and we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty, such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father, full of grace, favor, love, loving kindness, and truth. Thank you very much. Give me John chapter 3, verse 16 and 8. He born of God. Amen. John chapter 3. Amen. 16. Come on, read. Verse 16 through 18. Amen. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son, so that whoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, shall not perish, come to destruction, be lost, but have eternal, everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world in order to judge, to reject, to condemn, to pass sentence on the world, but that the world might find salvation and be made safe and sound through him. He who believes in him, who clings to, trusts in, relies on him, is not judged. He who trusts in him never comes up for judgment. For him there is no rejection, no condemnation. He incurs no damnation. But he who does not believe, cling to, rely on, trust in him, is judged already. Thank you very much. What verse is that? That's verse uh, 18. Right. Just read what I tell you to read, okay? Because I don't got that much time, so don't keep reading. 
Just read the verse I asked y'all to read, okay? Because we ain't got that much time, and I want to get some of this in and just set the hand man's head, okay? Mm -hmm. We're talking about he's saying Jesus wasn't born of God. Give me John 3.13. John 3.13. Amen. Come on. He the only one got it? Amen. amen. No, wait, hold on, hold on. Just say amen, and I'll call amen. you now. Amen. Okay, everybody got it? Amen. amen. Come on, Carolyn. And yet no one has ever gone up to heaven, but there is one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man himself, who is, dwells, has his home in heaven. Boy, you can't understand that. That's a what? <laughs> mystery. That's a mystery, boy. That got to be given to you. Mm. You don't understand that. That's why he says it contradicts itself. Come on, give me Acts chapter 13, verse 33. Acts 13, 33. Now, all Amen. these verses right here, and he didn't see all these. Amen. Read, Kenna. Amen. This he has completely fulfilled for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm. You are my son today. I have begotten you, caused you to arise to be born, formally shown you to be the Messiah by the resurrection. Psalms 2 7. Thank you very much. Matthew 3 17. Matthew 3 17. When you get there, say amen, so I will know you there. Amen. amen. Read, Andrea. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my son, my beloved, in whom I delight. Matthew 17 and 5. Well, Jesus is not born of amen. God. Jesus is not God. Amen. 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 Read, Daniel. While he was still speaking, behold, a shining cloud composed of light overshadowed them. And a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, my beloved, and with whom I am and have always been delighted. Listen to him. Thank you very much. Not the hand man. <laughs> Don't listen to the hand man. God told you who to listen to. Don't listen to the voice of Israel, the voice, the voice of the true Israelite. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to the, the, the uh, Israel of God. Don't listen to Rabbi Hodge. Listen to the house of Jacob. The Bible tells us who to listen to. Amen. Mark 1 7. See, they hate Jesus. Yes, they do. Because Jesus has been against them since he came into the world, ain't he? Amen. 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 He, started, he was against them in BC 4 and 5 when he hit the earth, didn't he? Yes. Amen. 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 Free kettle. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is stronger, more powerful, more valiant than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy of. Or fit to stoop down and unloosen. Luke 9 35. Luke chapter 9, verse 35. Luke 9 35. Amen. Read. Then there came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my son, my chosen one, or my beloved. Listen and yield to and obey him. Thank you very much. Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter 1. Second Peter chapter one, amen. Verse number sixteen and seventeen, amen. amen. Come on, y'all, say amen, amen. 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 All right, come on, Carolyn, read, because I, I want them to read them all for, by itself. For we were not following cleverly devised stories when we made known to you. The Thank power. you very much. This ain't no farce to us. <laughs> this ain't no joke. Amen. This ain't no story that was made up that we followed. No These fables. are mysteries that have been revealed to us that ain't been revealed to you, hand man. Fables. <laughs> This ain't no fable. He was born of a virgin. But you can't believe that. Because he ain't revealed no mystery to you. You're ignorant. Come on, Carolyn. For we were not following cleverly devised stories when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, the Messiah. Sir. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Peter said, I've seen it. Yes, sir. Peter was there. John was there. Handle it. He appeared to Paul. Matthew was there. Put their hands on him. Yes, no, he came from God. Go ahead, Carol. Grandular, authority and sovereign power. For when he was invested with honor and glory from God the Father, and a voice was born to him by the splendid majest majestic glory in the bright cloud that overshadowed him, saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased and delight. First John chapter 4, verse 9. How many times we got to read it? Peter said it, John said it, Matthew Amen. said it. And y'all don't believe a hand man Amen. who's scared Amen. to show his face a coward? Amen. 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 Read, uh, Daniel. In this, the love of God was made manifest, displayed where we are concerned, and that God sent his son, the only begotten or unique son, into the world so that we might live through him. Yes, sir. Hebrews 5.5. 5. Hebrews 5.5. 5. Hebrews 5, 5. Amen. Read. Amen. 
So too Christ, the Messiah, did not exalt himself to be made a high priest, but was appointed and exalted by him who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Thank you very much. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 5. Amen. Amen. Read. For two, did, for two which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you, established you in an official sonship relation with kingly dignity. And again, I will be to him a father, and he will be to me a son. Let's go to first, let's go to Ephesians 6 19. See, you don't understand the gospel. All you can try to do, you're trying to understand the Amen. law. Amen. But the law you can't Amen. understand because the gospel is hid in the law. Yes, Give me uh, Ephesians 6 19, Carolyn. And pray also for me that freedom of utterance may be given me, that I may open my mouth to proclaim boldly the mystery of the good news, the gospel. Yes, 532, same book, 532. Amen. Same Amen. book. Come on, Amen. Charles. The mystery is very great, but I speak concerning the relation of Christ and the church. Thank you very much. Give me chapter 3 of the book of Ephesians. Same book. Amen. Chapter 3. Give Amen. me verse 3. Daddy. 3-3. Three, three. And the mystery secret was made known to me, and I was allowed to comprehend it by direct revelation, as I already briefly wrote you. Thank you, bro. He got it from, he had a what kind of revelation? Direct revelation. From Jesus to Christ. That's what you're missing, hand man. That's what you're missing, direct revelation into the mystery. That's why you think it contradicts itself. Give me verse number four, Andrea. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. Thank you. That's what you ain't got. Voices of the true Israelite. That's what they, we got that. Because we born Again. and we born of the Spirit. We got hanging out what? No more. You best believe it. Give me verse number nine, kid. Also to enlighten all men and make plain to them what is the plain regarding the Gentiles and providing for the salvation of all men of the mystery kept hidden through the ages and concealed until now in the mind of God who created all things by Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. That was the word that we just read about in John 1, 1. Amen. Made flesh. Amen. Give me a, uh, he said that, uh, one more, couple, of, couple of more mysteries. Give me Colossians 1, 26 and verse 27. Amen. Three Amen. Turn. The mystery of which was hidden for ages. Thank and you generation. very much. And the mystery got to be revealed, doesn't it? Amen. Directly revealed. Yes, sir. Go ahead, read, sir. The mystery of which was hidden for ages and generations. Yes, sir. From angels and men. Yeah, from who? From angels and men. Nobody know the mystery. Mystery got to be revealed. Hid from the angels, and hid men. from the men. They didn't know what the prophets was talking about. The prophets themselves didn't even know what they was talking about. Amen. Read, sir. But it's now revealed to his holy people. Who to who? Oh, who, who the mysteries revealed to? His holy people. people. Who the mysteries revealed to? His, holy holy his mysteries is revealed to the holy people. Spiritual Israel. Spiritual Israel. The same. Oh, yes, to whom God was pleased to make known how great for the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ within and among you, the hope of realizing the glory. Thank you very much. Give me Colossians, same book, chapter 2, verse number 2, Carol. 2-2. Two, two. Amen. For my concern is that their hearts may be braced, comforted, cheered, and encouraged as they are knit together in love, that they may come to have all the abounding wealth and blessings of assured conviction of understanding, and that they may become progressively more intimately acquainted with and may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that the mystic secret of God which is Christ the Anointed One. Hey, boy, you don't know nothing about him. That's why you want to denounce him. Y'all don't know nothing about him because he's not in you. You're not born again. He's not part of you. Amen. Same book, Colossians chapter 4, verse number 3. Come on, Kenneth. Amen. Colossians chapter 4, verse 3. Amen. And at, the, and at the same time, pray for us also that God may open a door to us for the word, the gospel, to proclaim the mystery concerning Christ, the Messiah, on account of which I am in prison. Thank you, because he went around and said he was born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Say he was born of God and he was God's son, so they locked him up. First Timothy chapter 3, verse number 9 and drill. First Timothy chapter 3 and drill, verse number 9. 
First Timothy, first chapter, verse nine, right? Yeah. Knowing and understanding this, that the law is not in act for the righteous. No, not that. The law is not in act for the righteous. Mm -hmm. yeah, the law is not for the righteous. Oh, for the Go ahead. The upright and just who are in right standing with God, but for the lawless and the unruly, for the ungodly and the sinful, for the e irreverent. irreverent and profane for those who strike and beat and That's eat. That's 3-9? Yeah. 3-9. Oh. Timothy chapter 3, three verse nine. 9. Come on, son. Come on. Hey, they man, must possess the, me the mystic secrets of the faith, Christian truth as hidden from ungodly men with a clear conscience. <laughs> <laughs> Give me verse 16, Andrea. Same book. Mm -hmm. This the one. Okay. And great yeah. and important, yeah. weighty, we confess is hidden truth. The mystic secret of godliness. Mm. Yeah. He, God, has was made invisible, visible in human flesh, mm -hmm. justified, vindicated in the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Was seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed on in the world, and taken up in glory. That's what I'm, that's my favorite verse right there. When they come mm. to try to uh, take away from the deity of Christ and say that he's not a God. First mm. Timothy three sixteen. Amen. First Timothy three sixteen. We just read that. We just read that. Amen. Now I want to read it in the King oh, James. Oh, oh okay. okay. I want to read it in the King James. First Timothy three sixteen. Amen. They like to read their King James Bible. Yes, they do. <laughs> so I'm going to read it in the King James Bible for them. Give some old English. You best believe it. <laughs> First Timothy three sixteen. And without controversy. Okay. First Timothy three sixteen. I love this. Without controversy, hand man. No disputing. No controversy. What'd you say, sir? No dispute. No dispute. <laughs> Paul say, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Mm. God manifests in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels. He said, ain't no such thing as angels. Mm. Mm. That dumbbell hand man said, ain't no such thing as angels. He was seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, mm. believed on in the world. Received up into glory, you dumbbell, you. Give me a, uh, he said that uh, ain't no angels, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Give me a, uh, uh, now give me one more mystery. Give me Daniel chapter 2, verse 47, quickly. Daniel, Daniel chapter 2, verse 47, Amen. give me that quickly. Amen. Read. The king answered Daniel, of a truth, your God is the God of gods and the Lord of kings and the revealer of secret mysteries. Thank you very much. What is our God? Is the what? What is our God? God of gods of and the Lord mysteries. of kings and revealer of secret mysteries. Oh, you ain't got him? You can't know nothing outside him? He the one who got to reveal to you the mysteries of the book. He don't reveal to you no law. The law written in your heart, put it in your mind. But he got to reveal to you the mystery of that law. Amen. Amen. But the law is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Seeing that you could reveal this secret mystery. Thank you very much. Okay. He said, ain't no Godhead. Give me Luke chapter 1, verse 35. He said, there is no, there is no Godhead. We don't believe in no Godhead. Amen. There's only one God. Give me Amen. Luke 1, 35. Amen. Then the, Read. Then the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you like a shining cloud. And so the Holy Spirit, Pure, sinless thing, offspring, which shall be born of you, will be called the Son of God. Thank you very much. Give me uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 5. 1 John chapter 3, verse 5. Amen. Thanks. You know that he appeared in visible form and became man to take away upon himself sins. And in him there is no sin, essentially and forever. Thank you very much. He is God. He was born of a virgin. He wasn't ejaculated into a womb like us. He don't have no sin no in sin. him. Amen. Just... He wasn't conceived in sin and born in iniquity. You knucklehead. He couldn't have been the <laughs> Lamb of God of sacrifice if he had had sin in him. Amen. Y'all some dumbbell. Essentially and forever. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. So you need to search the scripture because in them you think you have eternal Amen. life. Amen. For they are they to testify of Christ. Amen. Amen. They testify of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Read. For, for we, we do, do not, not have, have a high priest. Come on, give me, come on, Daniel. For we do not have a high, we do not have a high priest 
who is unable to understand and sympathize and have a shared feeling without weaknesses and infirmities and liability to the assaults of temptation, but one who has been tempted in every respect as we are yet without Without sin. John chapter 8, verse 46, 47. John chapter 8, verse 46, 47. Come on, Andrea, read. Who of you convicts me of wrongdoing? Thank you. Keep reading. Or finds me guilty of sin. He ain't got no sin in him. He got to be out of God's head. Amen. He ain't got no sin in him. He the Lamb of God. Read. Then if I speak truth, why do you not believe me, trust me, rely on, and adhere to me? Whoever is of God listens to God. Those who belong to God hear the words of God. Mm-hmm. This is the reason that you do not listen to those words to me. Did you hear that hand, man? <laughs> Did you hear that hand, man? Read it one more time, Andrea. Whoever is of God. You're not of God. That's why you don't have God. We know you ain't of God because ain't no what been revealed to him. Mysteries. No mysteries. No mysteries. God is the revealing mystery. Amen. We, you, we know you're not of God. Read, away. sister. Whoever is of God listens to God. Those who belong to God hear the words of God. This is the reason that you do not listen to those words to me. Because you do not belong to God and are not of God or in harmony with him. Thank you very much. John chapter 14, verse 9 through 11. Come on, y'all. John, but this is good. Amen. 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 When we're talking about we got to denounce everything that Jesus said. <laughs> and believe you, hey, amen? I think mm. not. Amen. St. <laughs> John chapter 14, verses 9 through Amen. 11. Come on, Kelly, and read. Jesus replied, have I been with you, with all of you for so long a time, and do you not recognize and know me yet? Philip, anyone who has seen 